Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have 10 things for you that I am not going to buy or spend any money on for the entire year of 2021. All right, if you're new here, hello, I'm Claire. Welcome to this channel. I love a good deal. And if you're not new here, you'd already know that. Now you might already know that for the month of January, I do a no spend month where I buy only the absolute essentials and pay the bills. And that's all, that's it. If you wanna see some more about my no spend month, I will leave that video a link in the description down below. But this definitely ties into that sort of frugal way of thinking. I thought I would share with you guys 10 things that my husband and I sat down and discussed and decided that we are not going to put a single dime into all of 2021. And some of these things, uh, we didn't buy them in 2020 either, and that's sort of given us some inspiration to keep going. So let's just get right into it. The first thing we are not going to buy are haircuts. And I know, like, I am a dog groomer, so I do know that, like, if you're a person who professionally does hair, that that hurts. But the thing is, is it just is not that necessary to us. I have been cutting all of the family members hair and now I even cut my parents hair too so that they haven't had to go to the salon in all of 2020. I recently gave myself this haircut. I, I cut like seven inches off my own hair and I'm not saying that I can do it as well as a professional. That's definitely true. I know that people are out there who do incredible work on hair. Personally, it's just not a thing that I think that we need. And I think everybody looks good and I just don't see an issue with that. I will say I do have really great equipment. I actually use my dog grooming clippers on the family and I do have really nice like scissors and stuff like that. So that does make it a little bit easier, but we spent a total of zero dollars on salon expenses of any kind in 2020. And actually in 2019, I only got one haircut all year nobody else saw a professional. I definitely don't like get my nails done or my brows or massages. We don't utilize like any type of professional salon service at all, but hair is one that we actively do ourselves. My next one is for those of you out there who have periods, and that is I am not going to buy any pads or tampons in 2021. Now, last year I did acquire some cloth pads. I got them from Amazon. I will leave a link to the specific ones that I have down below, but there are lots of brands. You can also find them on Etsy or um, like locally made. If you get on Facebook and join like your local like sewing community page, usually there's someone local that makes them. And if you'd rather use your dollars to support local people or small businesses, I definitely get it. I personally did it on Amazon, but it was before I was really thinking about small business a long time ago. But anyway, I have found that the cloth pads work really, really well for me. I don't have a super heavy cycle these days anymore because of the birth control I'm on, but maybe give those a try and see. They pay for themselves very quickly without having to use disposable products. Also, if you're more of a tampon kind of person, you might want to try using a Diva Cup. Um, so I will leave links to those things down below. Uh, those are just some really easy swaps for me that not only are amazing for the environment, you guys, but also they save money throughout the whole year because you're not constantly having to buy those uh, products. My number three thing we're not gonna spend any money on next year is red meat. Now, if you follow me, you know that I don't eat meat. I'm a pescatarian, uh, so this one isn't difficult for me. I haven't had meat in almost two years, so that's not a huge challenge, but my husband has also agreed to take this on which really made me happy. Um, I really just buy chicken once in a while, um, but he often likes to make himself burgers and stuff like that. So this year we're gonna try, or I know we will succeed at this. I do most of the shopping, so I, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll be able to handle this, um, that he's not gonna have any red meat. We're not gonna give any red meat to the kids, and um, we're just gonna save a ton of money by not, by not doing that. And of course, when he's in the mood for a burger or something like that, um, I'm going to substitute with like ground turkey instead of ground beef or if he wants to make chili or nachos for himself or whatever. Um, I'm just going to keep some frozen ground turkey in the freezer and then he can use that instead. The next thing I'm not going to buy is Greek yogurt. 
And this is because I have an Instant Pot and I love the yogurt function on there. If you guys wanna see how I make Greek yogurt in my Instant Pot, leave me a comment down below because I've gotten really good at it over this past year. And I actually make a batch every single Sunday. My husband makes um, like a little parfait to take to work almost every single day with it. And it has saved me so much money because all you have to do is buy the milk and then you have to buy some yogurt one time for your like culture starter. And then you can use the same batch of yogurt uh, to start your next batch over and over and over. So it only costs you the price of a gallon of milk. So way, way cheaper than buying uh, Greek yogurt like in individual containers. And also if you're trying to be a little more sustainable for 2021, which I'm always striving to do, you don't have all those little yogurt cups that'll sit in the landfill for a thousand years. Number five thing we are not spending any money on is food delivery. We have even gone so far as to remove all of the food delivery apps we have on our phones, Grubhub and um, Uber Eats. And also we have one around here called GoPuff, which will bring you like snacks and munchies at any time of day. So if I'm just like watching TV, the kids are all in bed and I'm like, I want a bag of combos so bad. I'll just order it on there and someone will drop a bag of combos off at my front door. Of course, in the moment, that is so incredibly convenient, but honestly, it's better for my health if I don't get those combos. And also, I'm old enough and responsible enough to maybe anticipate some of my munchy needs and buy those things with my groceries instead of getting them delivered to me. The number six thing we're not spending any money on is music streaming. I went ahead and I stopped paying for Pandora and also Spotify premium. Like you guys, if, if, if 2020 has taught us anything is that you have time to listen to a 30 second commercial, it's not gonna kill you. It's not worth five bucks a month for me to not hear an ad every once in a while. Um, so we went ahead and unsubscribed from those things and we're just gonna have a year full of like some ads and it's not that big of a deal and it'll save us, you know, a bit of money in the long run. All right, number seven, we are not going to buy any frozen pizzas for all of 2021. Now I know depending on who you are, this could not be a big deal at all, but for us, a frozen pizza is a really easy way for me as a vegetarian and for my husband as a meat eater, for us to both get what we want. I often will just buy like a nice big like DiGiorno style self-rising crust pizza that's just got cheese on it and then we each add our own toppings. So it's a way that I can have what I want and he can get a bit of meat in and it makes everybody happy. But at the end of the day, to just get a blank cheese pizza and then have to buy all your extra toppings, it is not that cost effective. And recently I've been making my own pizza dough and it turns out it's super easy and super cheap. And what I've been doing is I've been making like triple recipes and each recipe makes two whole pizza crusts. And I've just been like portioning them out and putting the pizza crust in the freezer. So on a night where I'm like, whatever, just throw a pizza in the oven, I just pull out the pizza dough and I just make a pizza. So it's all still really convenient. I just use like the 25 cent cans of tomato sauce and whatever cheese we have laying around and it's so incredibly cheap. So we've decided definitely to um, think ahead, make some pizza crust and to avoid paying for frozen pizzas. All right, you guys, my next thing I'm not going to be buying next year or this year is spray cleaner. Now, I actually didn't buy any spray cleaner in 2020, and I probably not even in 2019 if I really think about it. I did buy some disinfectant wipes and that sort of stuff, of course, because of the pandemic. But when it comes to my normal everyday multi-surface cleaner, I make it myself and I use equal parts white vinegar and water and a few drops of essential oils. I normally gravitate towards a eucalyptus or a lemon for my spray. But of course, if you don't already have your essential oils, don't go out and buy any because sometimes they can get really expensive, especially if you go with like a, like an MLM business. Um, sometimes like oils are super expensive. So if you don't already have any, look on Amazon if you really want to get into it because um, I never spend like too much on my oils, but I do have quite a little collection in a stash and you only need a couple drops. And I find that that works amazing on all surfaces and I don't see the need to buy any cleaner. And even though like a bottle of Method is like, I don't know, three bucks, it doesn't seem like that much money. But if you're doing that, you know, every month or every two weeks or whatever, 
that can add up over a long period of time. And also think about all those plastic bottles that you're going through. So I really like to make my own. And that is something that's worked well for me for a really, really long time. My next one for you guys is hair ties and bobby pins. And maybe there's some unicorn of a hairy person out there who doesn't have this problem, but I feel like this is just how it works. And that is there is like a secret bobby pin monster that claims all your bobby pins slowly until you have no more and then you have to go buy another pack of 200 or whatever. I don't know how the bobby pins go. They just do. And the hair ties. Hair ties are the same thing. Like how does someone go through a hundred hair ties? Like where do they all go? So I don't know if it's like a whole sock in the dryer situation and if they're just collecting somewhere weird in your house. But for 2021, I am going to be extremely deliberate with my bobby pins and my hair ties. I'm going to take them out of my hair in the night, in the evening, and I'm going to put them in the same place every day and I'm not gonna lose any. I'm not gonna go through a thousand effing bobby pins in one year. There's no reason for that. So I'm gonna try very hard to be very intentional about where I keep them, where I put them, so they don't just get dispersed and lost. And even though that might save me a grand total of $5 for the entire year of 2021, that's $5 that you would not have had. So there you go. And my last tip for you guys is a very flexible one because for me personally, it's going to be toothpaste, but it might be something different for you. So our whole family of four goes to the dentist for a cleaning every six months. So twice a year for four people, we have so many of those tiny little tubes of toothpaste that there's no reason for me to go buy any toothpaste ever. There's just no way that our family could use that much toothpaste in a year. And I think that people oftentimes take those like samples, I guess they're samples, but like, I mean, a tube of toothpaste this big for one person can last a super long time. But for you, it might be something else, some other sample you have, or if you're like a person, well, I guess you probably didn't do a lot of traveling in 2020, but like the mini shampoo bottles and things like that, if you have a lot of those, I know a lot of times in our minds we think, to save them and to not use them because they're like travel size or whatever. I'll take that tiny bottle when I go traveling. And like, great, it'll probably still be there, but it's not a big deal if you just use it now. And when I looked in my bathroom, the amount of tiny toothpaste we have, I was like, all right, girl, no matter what you think, you don't need to buy any mother loving toothpaste in 2021. And not to mention that we're all going to be going to the dentist two times this year. So there are eight dental visits ahead of us and we will get more tiny toothpaste. All right, you guys, those are all of the things I'm not gonna buy. I think there's probably more of them. Um, but those are the ones I could think of that I thought would be helpful to share. So let me know in the comments down below, are you gonna use any of these ideas? What are you not going to buy? I would love to hear some inspiration from all of you. And of course, come back for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. I post two videos every single week on Fridays and on Sundays. I would love to have you, so go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!